good afternoon children today we are going to see the continuation of the lesson from chemistry so lesson number 2 the role of chemistry in our lives in today's class we are going to see about what is artificial or synthetic fibers artificial fibers or synthetic fibers which are man made fibers and fibers like cotton silk and wool belongs to the class of substance called as polymers here a polymer is a joint molecule formed by end to end joining of small parts which are called as monomers here artificial or synthetic fibers which are prepared in laboratory artificial fibers are made up of polymers which are produced artificially and which is synthesized or prepared in the laboratory there are two types of synthetic fibers synthetic fiber is nothing but artificial fibers they are semi synthetic fibers and purely synthetic fiber first we are going to see about what is semi synthetic fibers the semi synthetic fibers are nothing but which are made by modifying or bringing some small changes in the natural fibers for example bringing some changes in the cotton bringing some changes in the silk they will prepare this fiber called as semi synthetic fibers the most common example for semi synthetic fiber is rayons rayons are nothing but which are made from cellulose cellulose is a substance which are present only in the plant isn't it the cell wall of plant are made up of cellulose so bringing some changes in the cellulose they can prepare this um, see now how rayons are made best example for rayons are rain coat umbrella these are the materials which are made up of rayons and to prepare a rayon cellulose is chemically treated in three different way to obtain three different kinds of rayon first one is viscose rayon second one is acetate rayon next one is cupra ammonium rayon first we will see how viscose rayon are made the cellulose that is a substance which get it from the plant that uh, that cellulose is dissolved on the mixture called as sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is nothing but which is called as caustic soda first they will dissolve the uh, cellulose in a sodium hydroxide and with carbon disulfide a viscous liquid that is nothing but a liquid that cannot flow freely such type of liquid is called as viscous liquid so by mixing the cellulose and the cellulose is dissolved in a mixture called as sodium hydroxide and with carbon disulfide and this forms a viscous liquid and then this viscous liquid is forced to the splinter which have very small holes into an acid bath through this process the viscous rayon are obtained and to get acetate rayon the same substance is mixed with the the same substance is nothing but what the cellulose is mixed with the mixture of acetic acid and sulfuric acid and the solution um, uh, which is obtained from the obtained from mixing with the uh, cellulose and acetic acid and sulfuric acid we can get acetate rayon then cupro rayon to obtain the cupro rayon cellulose is dissolved with a solution called as cupra ammonium hydroxide from that we get the rayon called as cupro rayon so these are the three types of rayon viscous rayon acetate rayon and cupro ammonium rayon these are obtained from the uh, three different kinds of substance and the next one is purely synthetic fiber so far we had seen about semi synthetic fiber and this fibers are called as purely synthetic fibers because it is fully made from chemicals so purely synthetic fibers are fully made from chemicals by polymerization reaction examples for purely synthetic fiber is polyester nylon and acrylics these are the example for purely synthetic fibers to see about the advantage of synthetic fibers they do not depend either on agricultural crop as cotton flax jute do or on any animal farming as silk culture wool etc and synthetic fibers are more durable we can use it for longer time than natural fiber and synthetic fibers are not easily acted upon by moisture chemicals or bacteria so we are using in the rainy seasons umbrella and rain coat or belongs to synthetic fibers and the synthetic fibers are generally cheaper than natural fibers what are the disadvantage of synthetic fibers are synthetic fibers are melts before burning and as well as the cloth are made from synthetic fibers are stick to the skin when it's burned and um, it 
it cause damage to the skin and synthetic fibers do not absorb sweat as natural fibers do natural synthetic fibers cause some allergies to the skin thank you children